Everyone, so this is a surprisingly uh, fun night. It's an unboxing video. Uh, it is the Kershaw 1555Ti Cryo knife. It's basically uh, signed by Rick Hinder. It's a very small version of what a XM18 is, is, is like, or XM24. Um, it, uh, so there's two versions of this Cryo knife. There's a Cryo 2 that's just coming out. It's not fully available. It's, it's larger. This is the smaller one. Um, when I opened it, uh, I was pretty surprised at the, the size. I didn't, uh, didn't catch that in the description. It's just, but this is a, it's pretty neat. It's a very cool EDC little knife that's uh, easy to carry. And of course, designed by Rakinder. It gives you that taste of, uh, of an XM18 for a considerably less price. This is uh, basically a $31 list knife. Well, in shipping, it's typically going to be less than $35, definitely less than $40, depending on where you get it from. So, uh, uh, rightly so, and I agree with this, Blade Magazine apparently gave this Blade the best buy of the year for 2012, and I think I agree with that. It has the standard uh, thumb stop stops there, and the thumb stops are a little hard to use. I would say that the, the, the flipper on the back is the correct way to open it. The flipper is actually using the Kershaw Speed Save technology, which I didn't think they really have to do on this knife, but it, it works just fine. It, it might have a solid lockup. It does have a frame lock, which uh, is very surprising for uh, this low cost of a knife. The mm -hmm. clip uh, can be put in different, four different positions, a quad clip. Um, very nice color to the knife. It's uh, kind of a flat gray across the blade, across the, the scales. The scales themselves are pure steel. Again, it's a frame lock. It, the steel on the actual blade is the standard 8CR 13MLB Chinese made steel. It is made in China. It's basically where a lot of the low cost knives are made from. Uh, you can see the, the, the frame uh, uh, disc there that prevents you from uh, pushing it too far to the left to open the knife. Pretty very, very close on the design to the XM18. The only thing I've kind of noticed is that the, I'm shaking it there because the Kershaw speech save uh, technology sometimes rattles. My hand is still a little bit rattled, not too bad. What I was saying is that uh, only in the blade does there a slightly difference in the XM18. There's a little less spot. To, there isn't the spot to put your finger in the trail that uh, XM18 would have. So overall, it's a, a very nice low cost knife. I like mine. I've been using it. It came out of the box extremely sharp. Um, you know, if you like the design, I would say pick it up. It's not a whole lot to lose. <laughs> so uh, I think well done here. A lot of these collaborations don't uh, often go well. Just a quick wrap up. The blade length is 2 and 3 fourths inches. The overall length is 6.5 inches. The weight, the weight's a little bit heavy for the size of the knife, but it's, uh, it's a 4 point, uh, 0.0, 0.1 ounce um, knife. So, not bad, and I think this is a great uh, overall, overall knife.